Hello, welcome back to my channel, Leos. I am Clo Conscious. If you're new here, so am I. I'm a new content creator for my oracle reading because I wouldn't necessarily call it much tarot, but I like to call it oracle reading. So this message is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo placements or any placements that are being aspected by the upcoming transit that is amplifying that Leo energy in your chart. So Let's get started on this reading. So, angels, what should Leo expect for this upcoming week? Maybe I'll shuffle in front of you. What should my Leo's expect? Two cards. King of Earth and lovers by the way i don't do any reversals so sorry not sorry take it how it's portrayed take the message as it resonates mm, that lunch is coming up i had a delicious lunch today thank you guys for asking it was it was a delicious um cheesesteak crepe that my boss bought me for lunch it was it was delicious 10 out of 10 would eat again not that you cared but I shared anyway so with this king of pentacles it's a beautiful way to start with the lovers by the way it says like successful time confidently accept opportunities are offered a Midas touch I think of a Midas touch as like a, like having that golden touch angelica touch everything you touch turns to gold except it doesn't harm people. It's like absolutely 100% beneficial, especially with the lovers. It seems like this is a divine union, whether this is with your money, with your money, with your home life, with your job, things like that. It could be a physical thing because of the lovers, divine job. But you already know how divine union works. Divine union could be a romantic relationship. It could be a soulmate in regards to a friendship, like that perfect friend for life, bestie for the restie, that job, your dream job that you didn't even realize was your dream job, that dream car, that dream, I mean, well, I don't know why your car would be in union with you as your divine partner, but if you are a car person, then that may be it for you. You may get your hands on it. Um, so yes. Friends, family, objects, jobs, all of the above. It is coming in. We're receiving blessings this week. Of course we are. When is Leo not abundant? They have sun as their ruler. But you have the three of swords here. It says great sadness. Take the time to heal and the need to forgive yourself and others. I hate to say it, but why does it sound like a twin flame? Oh my gosh, it's like that runner chaser dynamic. I don't like to do love readings, but if this is about love, then stop with this runner chaser energy. Yes, but it could mean that you're not perceiving this abundance um, as the way the universe is handing it to you. Let's see what else there it is we're gonna get more more contacts. oh sun card came out of course it did okay actually i'm gonna put this down here i had page of air flop out it says challenging information delays or change of plans truth delivered without tact okay Someone is being like incredibly disrespectful with the delivery of this message. It's like, it's not what you said, it's how you said it kind of energy, which is why, <laughs> which is why you're not extremely happy with the way it was delivered to your house. It's like, you're so excited. You have this abundance, you have it. 24 hour shipping like same day delivery and it comes up in a damaged box and so you're looking at it like dang 
I'm upset. I hoped that my product, my abundance in there was not damaged because of the negligence and because of this poor delivery service. But when you open it up with the three of cups and six of cups and the sun card, it does feel like your product is fine. The delivery was just trash. Um, and that's what we learned from manifesting things so quickly is if we're not a little too specific, you know, it's not gonna come in the best packaging, okay? But anyway, so you have the six of cups, which is like a nostalgic feeling. So it could be something from the past. Dude, it's really feeling like a twin flame here, dude. Like how is this not a twin flame with that six of cups and the lovers? What made me, what else made me think that it was? I don't know why I thought it was a twin flame, but it feels like it. Cause you have the three of cups here so a celebration, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement, the need to have more fun. So it kind of feels like maybe you guys are ending this runner chaser dynamic in this, in this divine union, whether this is like, let's just say if, if you were trying to get married, like you guys have finally settled on date. It's like finally happening, you know? Um, or you guys decided to finally have kids. It's finally happening. Or you finally conceived finally. I keep saying finally. Like finally. And this is finally. This may be your message. Is the word finally. Okay. Um, but let's just say you were barely able to conceive. And this is it. This is the time where you actually make it to term. Or if it's with work. This is the time you get that promotion. This is the time that it actually happens for you. Because maybe in the past with this three of swords, you were thinking as if it wasn't going to manifest because you kept manifesting, you kept praying for it, you kept putting in this effort and energy and it kind of just kept falling out. And you're like, oh, why are they getting pregnant? Why are they getting married? Why are they getting that promotion that I wanted and I deserved? Why, why me? Why me, God? Why me? I'm doing everything. Why are you giving everybody my abundance first? And the universe is saying, this time, it's you. And you're not going to see it coming. Because you're not going to think it's for you. But it is. But it is. And it's going to be so obviously yours with the sun card here. So obvious. So let's get some, um, some advice from my animal deck putting these cards back in yep, yep, yep. well that's good it worked out pretty good wouldn't you say i would say so what advice do you have for my leos my animal friends spirit guides i got the otter it says surrender let go of control yeah <laughs> yeah it's not gonna go, it's not gonna arrive the way you want it to, but you're gonna get it. Any means necessary. Like, you may feel like it's not genuine when you receive this abundance. Like, let's just say, I know this sounds so dark, but like, let's just say somebody that has the position that you wanted when you wanted that raise or that promotion, they quit their job or they got fired or something and you were just like the next in line and you're like, okay, like I'm happy I have this, but it's, not genuine like it like do I even deserve this you know and like that whole like honoring it being authentic and that you were chosen for it and I mean like you were you were other people could have had this gift and this is for you but you just don't like the way that you got it you know things like that like when you ask your partner for flowers and they get you flowers and you're like, thank you. I'm so happy you bought me flowers, but I had to ask you for it. Yes, I'm happy with what I got, but I'm, I'm unhappy that I had to ask for it so many times. It's not genuine, it's not authentic. And the universe is saying, shh, 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 let it go. You got, your, you got what you asked for, yes? Yes. So hopefully you can appreciate what you have because you didn't get it the way you wanted it, but you still got what you want, right? Don't be spoiled, don't be a brat, don't be ungrateful, okay? 
We have dolphin. It says playfulness. Take time to play. Enjoy your manifestation. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to a kid right now. Um, I have kangaroo. It says gratitude. Be grateful for all that you are blessed with. Yes, you have everything you manifested. Let's not even worry about the way that it landed in your lap or appeared on your doorstep, okay? Just because it's not the way you wanted it, you didn't feel like it's authentic enough, doesn't mean you didn't deserve it. And it doesn't mean that universe sent that for you, okay? You definitely deserved it. Universe made it happen. So that way it would be abundantly clear that you deserved it. That's why it happened. It was because you deserved it. It just didn't work out the way you wanted it to. But you still deserve it and the universe went and made it work so you can have it, okay? All right, so I love you, Leos. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what this abundance was that you were being a little bratty about, being a little too spoiled about. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.